Professional Boxing Club, James V. Norris, president, between the European middleweight champion, Randy Turpin, of Leamington Spa, England, and the American middleweight champion, Carl Bobo Olsen, of Honolulu. This is Russ Hodges speaking to you from Madison Square Garden, New York, where we have a tremendous throng on hand tonight as the blue chips are down for the middleweight boxing championship of the world between Randy Turpin and Carl Bobo Olsen. It's about to be decided by a New York rule, of course, with the referee and the two judges voting by rounds, not by total points. It's quite a surprise today at the weigh-in when Turpin, who was supposed to be having weight difficulty, came in at only 157, while Olsen came in at 159 and a half, both uh, safely under the 160-pound weight. So uh, we filmed the weigh-in today. We thought you might like to take a look at it. So let's move right now into the weigh-in field before we take you up to the ring. And standing on the uh, scales at the present time is uh, Randy Turpin with uh, Olsen looking on very carefully. There is the uh, Chamber of Commerce representative, Jack Riley, from Hawaii, presenting uh, Olsen with a lay and also with a lot of good wishes for uh, a fine performance tonight. Chairman Bob Crissenberry looking on and uh, checking all of the proceedings that went on at the weighing in which was held at Madison Square Garden today before quite a throng of boxing experts from all over the country. As you can see, the fellows that are battling now, getting ready to battle for the middleweight crown are up in the ring. Johnny Eddy is there to make some introductions. So, Johnny, if you will take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the British National Anthem. Our British National Anthem first. Gooding, the organist, our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched was so gallantly streaming. In the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave thrill through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled band all yet wave all oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. A crowd of around 17,000 fans on hand at uh, Madison Square Garden, that is near capacity. Of course, we'll have the figures later. All right, Johnny. Ladies and gentlemen, wrestling here Tuesday night, Kowalski and Rocker, and six other bouts. On Friday night of this week, a middleweight bout brings together Pierre Langlois of France and Garth Panther of California in a 10-rounder. Here's the clever featherweight Contender from Brooklyn, Lulu Perez. Harlem middleweight contender, Randy Sandy. Welterweight champion of the British Empire, Jerry Dreyer. Hard hitting New York heavyweight contender, Coley Wallace. The ever popular East Side classy welterweight contender, Billy Graham. 
Rough, tough, aggressive, middleweight from Greenwich Village, Patty Young. And the former middleweight king from Brooklyn, dynamic punching, Rocky Graziano. Remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time a match of such international importance has been seen on home television. Randy Turpin, the former middleweight champion of the world, until he uh, came back to fight uh, Ray Robinson in a defense of his crown, and Robinson knocked him out at uh, the polo grounds. And so Randy is battling for a chance to regain the crown tonight against Carl Bobo Olson, the American middleweight champion, and Randy Turpin, the middleweight champion of Europe. It's the first time a representative of Great Britain Ladies will fight in the championship contest before a home TV audience. By the New York State Athletic Commission. Judges are Arthur Suskin and Charlie Shortell. The timekeeper, George Fannin. Counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Harry Kessler. Referee, Al Burrow. This is the main event. 15 rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Presented by the International Boxing Club of New York. The principals, introducing from Leamington, England, wearing white trunks, weighing 157, former middleweight king, Randy Turpin. Turpin. His opponent, from Honolulu, wearing black trunks, Weighing 159 and a half pounds, Carl Bobo Olson. Olson. 15 rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Another contest to follow. That is referee Al Burrell bringing the two boys out for their uh, final instructions, which of course will be heard now, wherever you happen boys to be listening the rules, I presume. I expected a good clean fight. In case of a knockdown, the man scoring the knockdown will go to a neutral corner and stay there till I tell you to resume boxing. In the event of a knock, uh, I want you both to come out fighting and shake hands now. Good luck to both of you. Both boys, 25 years of age, with uh, Olsen, Hawaiian born, and Randy Turpin from the British Isles. Olsen has had uh, a total of 58 bouts. Randy Turpin has had five less at 53. Olsen in the black trunks, weighing 159 and a half. Randy Turpin at 157. Round one underway. Turpin, admittedly a powerful puncher who likes it at long range. Olsen, who flurries a lot, likes to work inside and always in superb condition. And it is Turpin staggering Olsen with a good left hook to the head. And Olsen in the first minute of the bout hanging on. Bobo established quite a favorite by the experts before the bout. Oh. Olsen's nose is reddened a bit. As a result of a couple of clouts that have been thrown by Randy Turpin here early in round one for the middleweight championship of the world for Madison Square Garden.
Turpin very strong. Olsen having difficulty tying him up. Turpin's right uppercut grazing the chin of Olsen with 30 seconds to go in the first round. is over and you can a lot of activity in the corner of Carl Bobo Olson as Sid Flaherty and uh, Fred Bianchi are giving him last minute instructions about how to stay away from the bull like rushes of Randy Turpin who is trying to become the fifth man in middleweight history to regain the championship after having lost it Olson is in the black trunks weighing 159 and a half Turpin at 157 Olson was staggered in the first round and had to hold on. Round two. Bobo has done very little punching and certainly very little landing so far. Olsen prefers to work inside and the long range punching of Turpin so far has kept Bobo fairly well at a distance so far. cut that uh, Turpin missed that time. One minute to go in the second round. Al Burl, the referee, warned the Turpin about breaking cleanly. Since this is a championship affair, the automatic eight count, mandatory eight count, will not be invoked tonight. And three knockdowns in a round does not necessarily constitute the KO. both miss haymakers at the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another 15-round world championship bout brought to you with the very best wishes of that world champion of fine beers, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. Now the two boys in their corners. On the left side of your screen is uh, Randy Turpin, who has had a total of 53 bouts, winning 49, losing three and has been uh, knocked out by Ray Robinson and Gene Stock. Carl Bobo Olson with 58 bouts, 53 wins and five defeats, has scored 25 knockouts himself and has been knocked out once by Ray Robinson. And both boys are battling for the crown, vacated by Sir Ray. 
We want to welcome two California cities tonight, joining us for these famous Pabst Blue Ribbon bouts. Hey. Randy Turpin has been throwing a lot of heavy leather out there against Carl Bobo Olson for the middleweight championship of the world. Olson punching in a combination for the first time tonight. Both boys with uh, somewhat awkward styles, which uh, presents that argument. Is an awkward man easy to hit or hard to hit? A 15 round bout. This is the third round. Turpin acts as his own trainer. He didn't want to leave his uh, fight in the training camp, and he dictated the number of rounds that he would box, and frequently took it easy. Round three with 45 seconds remaining. Neither man shows a mark so far. <laughs> we who ride the nags. Randy Turpin in the white trunks, weighing 157. Carl Bobo Olson, 159 and a half for the middleweight championship of the world. If Olson were to win it, it would be the first time a Hawaiian-born fighter would become a world champion. The man has been down. The most damaging blow of the fight was thrown in the first round, a right hand that shook Olsen up quite a bit. one put Turpin on his heels. A fine blow thrown by Bobo Olson. And now there is a trickle from the left cheekbone of Randy Turpin. With a minute and 15 seconds left in round four.
Olsen caught Turpin coming in with a left hook to the jaw. The cut on Turpin's left cheek is right on the cheekbone, well down under the eye. Round four, 45 seconds remaining. Tempo is really increasing. <laughs> Round four is over. Ladies and gentlemen, here at ringside with me is the, the laceration on the left cheekbone of the boy from Leamington Spa, England, Randy Turpin. Neither man has been down. <laughs> Turpin at 157. Bobo Olsen in the black trunks at 159 and a half. As Turpin is coming in, Olsen is chopping away and landing on Randy as he comes in, but not enough to slow down the bull-like rushes of Turpin. Minute and a half remaining in round five. Olsen now is gradually working into the infighting style that he prefers, much better than he was in the earlier rounds. Turpin on the ropes. And now it's Olsen on the ropes. just about that figure tonight. That, of course, is unofficial. Round six, Bobo Olsen in the black trunks, Randy Turpin in the white. Neither man has been down. There is a shallow laceration under the left eye on the left cheekbone of Randy Turpin. Turpin graduated from the carnival ranks in England to become a great pro. Middleweight champ, then he lost it to Ray Robinson, is trying to regain it tonight. You'll notice the almost complete lack of jabbing. Both boys punching with both fists rather than going to the jab.
It's been hammer and tong since the opening bell. Turpin on the ropes with 30 seconds remaining in round six. appear to be in wonderful condition. Turpin has been very strong in the early moments of the round. Then, as you saw in round six, he appears to try to rest in the final 30 to 60 seconds of the round, and that's the time that Olsen has been scoring. Round seven of the middleweight championship. Thirty seconds in the seventh round. And once again, in the final seconds of the round, Olsen is carrying it to Turkey. And round seven, they have uh, tried to patch up the laceration under the left eye of Turpin, and they have staunched the flow very well. Olsen does not show a mark so far. Round eight.
you have noticed in the past two rounds, Turpin punches very well in the early minutes of the round. And then in the last minute or so, then Olson comes on to punch very strongly. Round eight so far, perhaps the slowest round of the match as both boys are feeling the toll of the punching that they have done and the punches that they have absorbed. Banked off the temple of Carl Bobo Olsen. Perhaps Blue Ribbon, happy to bring you this 15 round championship from Madison Square Garden. Round nine. Olsen seems to be very tired at this stage. Probably hasn't recovered fully from that right hand that nailed him in the eighth round. One minute to go in round nine.
We have two tired boys in there now, and this is only round 10, and the bout is scheduled for 15. One minute in the tenth round. Turpin down in the ninth has been down in the tenth also. Both boys very arm weary. Thirty seconds. black trunk, Randy Turpin in the white trunk. Turpin, the stronger of the two, trying to tie up Olsen. Olsen punching very sharply, devastatingly, here in the last three or four rounds. Olsen is over in his own, or rather Turpin is in his own corner. And using the ropes for as much rest as he can get. Minute and a half remaining in the 11th round. Turpin was hurt by a body punch.
30 seconds in round 11. Turpin landed a good ride as Olsen was coming in. Undoubtedly snapping, they strengthened the boys just a bit. Turpin was down in the ninth round and again in the tenth. Olsen has not been down, but has been staggered twice. Once in the first, once in the eighth. Round 12 of the scheduled 15 rounder. Bobo Olsen seems to be having a bit of difficulty breathing. His nose is swollen. Turpin drew a warning there for a low blow. Forty-five seconds in round twelve, and Turpin was hit with a terrific right hand. His eyes blazed on him for just a second. It's just a fighting heart that's holding Randy up in there now. Round 13, Olsen in the black trunks, Turpin in the white. Olsen never stops uh, that shadow boxing sort of uh, attack that he uses. He keeps his arms moving all the time. Round 13.
Now, with two minutes gone in round 13, this is usually where the action starts. Turpin has been in trouble late in about four of the rounds and seems to be conserving his strength when he gets on the ropes for just one big punch that he hopes will knock out over. Round is almost over. <laughs> Ribbon bouts every Wednesday night from now on. Round 14 for the middleweight championship. Turpin was in trouble at the end of round 13, but recuperated nicely in his corner. Turpin is in the white trunks. Carl Bobo Olson from Hawaii and San Francisco, California in the black. <laughs> Turpin appears to be cut badly around the mouth now. He's had difficulty retaining his mouthpiece. Olsen badly swollen around the nose. The left cheekbone of Turpin has opened up again. The fans howl every time Olsen gets Turpin over on the ropes. In the black trunks, Randy Turpin in the white for the World's Middleweight Championship. Turpin punching desperately, swinging wide.
A minute and 20 seconds to go. Both boys very arm weary. Riding mostly flat footed now. Turpin still strong. Comes the verdict, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Charlie Shortell scores at 11 and 4, favor of Bobo Olson. The Addy letting them know that Olson's the champ. He won it way off, and he won it the way a champion should. Right now, for this fight, anyway, I've got to say, Olson is as good a middleweight as you're gonna run into. 